All right, welcome in this video. We're going to look at the limits worksheet from class and look at the solutions. Uh, first, for a is equal to negative eight, that's right here. Uh, the limit on the left, um, you just look along here, just a little bit to the left, and see that the y value, I guess that would be two. Um, on the right, so starting a little bit to the right of negative eight, and then moving in towards negative eight, uh, the y value also appears to be two, and simply because these two numbers match, that means a two-sided limit is this matching number two. And finally, um, what about the value of the function itself? Well, we look along here, and it is right up here, it's 10. Okay, the next a value to look at is negative five, and the limit on the left, so here's negative five, that x value, but we look a little bit to the left. And you get up here to this y value and guess that the y value would be five. Uh, looking from the right and heading in towards the x value of negative 5, the y value again appears to be 5. Since these numbers match, uh, the two-sided limit is that matching number 5. Uh, finally, what about the actual y value of the function? Well, for the x value of negative 5, there is no y value. It's undefined. This does not exist. Or in other words, negative 5 is not part of the domain. The next a value to look at is negative 3. And the limit on the left, so here's negative three, and as you look on the left, uh, it appears that the y value gets closer and closer and closer to the number four. So the left limit is four. Um, what about the right limit? As you move in from the right towards negative three, here, staring at the y values, the height looks like it's gonna be one. Um, since these both exist, great, uh, the left limit and right limit exist, but the numbers four and one don't match. Therefore, the two-sided limit does not exist. That's all it takes for the two-sided limit to not exist. Think about the ribbons again. If you covered this with a ribbon, you wouldn't have one um, guess. You'd, you'd guess two different numbers. Finally, what about the value of the function? There is no value for this function. It's undefined right there. Uh, the next a value to look at, the next special x value is at negative one. That's right along here. And here, covering things up, you're not allowed to look at this vertical line or to the right to find the left limit and the left limit you look along here and the y value uh, approaches the number three uh, same same deal to do the right limit you look from the right and head in towards the left towards this number negative one and get the y value of three since these two numbers match the limit exists and is equal to three and quite coincidentally in this case the y value the actual y value not just the guess but the actual y value at x is negative one is also three so here the fact that these two things match is a very very special thing uh, we'll look at that again in section 2.5 but you should note that these two things don't have to match right these can both be numbers and they can be different in fact that's what we saw way back over here the next a value to look at is one uh, looking from the left, the y value appears to be 2. Looking from the right, the y value appears to be 4. Since these two uh, y values, the two guesses don't match, this two-sided limit does not exist. However, the value of the function 1 is in the domain, and the assigned y value there is 3. So you can get these three different numbers like this. Uh, finally, what about um, the limit as x approaches 5 from the left? So we're looking at this kind of thing, and you might want to say infinity, and it is infinity in a sense, and we'll talk about that, but really what's going on here is infinity is not a number, and as soon as you think that for 4.9 maybe you're going to get to 1,000, well then 4.99 you might get to a million, and you keep getting these bigger and bigger numbers, so you don't stabilize on any particular number, and so this left limit does not exist. However, the right limit, you look at this little thing right here, and as you move from the right, just a little bit to the right of 5, and you move in closer to 5, the y value that you'd guess would be negative 5. Um, the two-sided limit does not exist simply because this left limit does not exist. Remember, this two-sided limit would only exist if this one exists, that one exists, and you get the same number. But since the left limit does not exist, the two-sided limit does not exist. And what about the value of the function? Here, there is a dot right here. It's at negative 5. So coincidentally, there's this negative 5 that matches this negative 5. But that didn't have to happen. In fact, that didn't happen, for instance, right over here with a is equal to 1. So this curiosity right here, when these two things match, that's another thing that we're going to look at in section 2.5. That's a thing called continuity on the right. Now what about at a is equal to 6? The limit on the left is negative 6. The limit on the right, found by looking here, it looks like negative 3. And the two-sided limit doesn't exist because these two numbers are not the same, but the value of the function does exist, and that value is negative 6. Now this negative 6 matching this negative 6, completely coincidental again. There's no reason why this has to relate to this because I could have just drawn this dot somewhere else, but because that dot is there, this is another thing that we're going to look at in section 2.5. The next, and I believe last A value we'll look at is 8. 
the limit on the left here, as you approach from 8 a little bit in, you get to this y value of negative 2. When you start from the right and approach this way, you get a y value of your guess negative 2 as well. Since these two numbers match, the two-sided limit exists, and it's negative 2. What about the actual value of the function? Well, the actual y value is not our guess. It's not negative 2. It's actually 5. Right? The end. Thanks.